There is nothing wrong with your television set. Hi, my name is Jamil Rawls and I'm an independent scholar. And today we're going to go over government corruption. And we're going to look at an article titled, New York Fed is in bed with Safra and the Russian Mafia. And this is from New York Magazine titled Money Plane. And it's written by Jeffrey Steinberg. This came out February 2nd, 1996. And every day of the week between 100 million and 1 billion in U.S. $100 bills are flown from New York's Kennedy Airport to Moscow, where they are funneled through a string of unregulated sleazy banks in the hands of Russian leading mafioso, helping to fuel the biggest organized crime boom since U.S. Prohibition helped jumpstart the late Meyer Lansky's National Crime Syndicate, according to a cover story in the January 22nd, 1996 New York Magazine. These crisp new C notes are sold by the New York Federal Reserve Bank to the Republic to the Republic National Bank of New York. That bank's owner, Edmund Safra, has had more than one run-in with U.S. federal narcotics authorities back in 19. 19- 89, the drug, the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration and the U.S. Customs Service linked Republic and Safra to major money laundering schemes by the Medellin, I can't pronounce, Med, Medellin cartel and by the Swiss-based trading company, who author, New York Magazine writer Robert I. Friedman who authored the January 22nd story is no longer is no stranger to the cross currents of big time politics, finance, and the underworld. He has written a, a very unauthorized biography of the late Rabbi Meyer Kahan, founder of the terrorist Jewish Defense League and Cash Movement. He has cataloged the activities of the Jewish underground in Israel. Where is the article? Well, 